friends, how are you all doing? I'm doing fantastic. It's uh, April the 2nd of uh, 2021. Okay, so this uh, video is about a collection update. All right, so I've uh, purchased a bunch of albums over the last little while and I'm uh, just going to present those to you, okay? All right, and these albums will consist of uh, black metal and death metal. Okay, so coming up first is uh, Voltimus with uh, Something Wicked Marches In. This was released in 2019. Yeah, this is just a fantastic album. I've been listening to this one quite a bit over the last little while. Been meaning to pick this album up for a couple years already. It's, uh, it's just incredible. It features members or former members of uh, Morbid Angel and uh, Mayhem. And I believe Gorguts as well. Yeah, this is just a really, really strong album. Yeah, I definitely highly recommend this one. Okay, so that's uh, Voltimus with uh, Something Wicked Marches In. Noir with uh, the Tracks of the Hunted. This was released in 2016. Okay, so this is a black metal band out of Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. Yeah, I picked this one up at a local record shop and uh, I've listened to it once or twice already and uh, yeah, it's pretty decent stuff. Uh, I should listen to it a bit more though, but uh, yeah, pretty decent stuff. Okay, so that's uh, Noir with uh, the tracks of The Hunted. Limbonic Art with uh, Spectre Abysm. This was released in 2017. Yeah, I really enjoy this album. I've been meaning to pick up an album from Lumbonic Art for many years already, so I just decided to finally purchase an album from them. And uh, yeah, this one is really, really good. I've been listening to it quite a bit. Yeah, really good stuff. Okay, so that's Lumbonic Art with the uh, Spectre Abysm. Spell of Dark with the uh, Journey into the Depths of Winter. This was released in 2017. This is an EP. Okay, so this is a one man black metal band out of Russia. They have more of like an atmospheric black metal type of sound. Sort of more mid-paced, uh, very melancholic sounding. Yeah, I really enjoy this stuff. Very, very good band. I'm very impressed with their music. Okay, all right, so that's Spell of Dark with the Journey into the Depths of Winter. Spell of Dark with the Vastness. This was released in 2019. This is a full-length album. Yeah, so uh, I decided to purchase another album from Spell of Dark. Like I said, I just really enjoy their music so much and this album is just incredible. Yeah, I really enjoy the mood and the atmosphere in this album. Really good stuff. I definitely like this type of music. All right, so that's uh, Spell of Dark with The Vastness. Okay. Possessed with The Seven Churches. This was released in 1985. Very classic album. Finally decided to purchase it, uh, considered by many people to be one of the the first death metal albums, okay. Yeah, very interesting stuff. I definitely needed it in my collection, okay. It's sort of like a, a must own for any, for any metal head, okay. So I decided to purchase it, okay. All right, yeah, pretty good stuff, okay. So that's uh, Possessed with the Seven Churches, okay. One of my absolute favorite bands, this is uh, Nagelfar with uh, Sarah Cloth. This was released in 2020. Yeah, I just uh, absolutely love uh, Nagelfar. I do have all of their full-length albums now. So yeah, very pleased to have this album. It's just another solid release from Nagelfar, a really good album. Yeah, so at some point I may do a Nagelfar albums rank video. I'm not entirely sure yet. I've been thinking about it. So that may come at some point, so yeah. All right, okay, so this is just a fantastic album, all right? So that's uh, Nagel Far with uh, Sarah Cloth. All right. Suffocation with Effigy of the Forgotten. This was released in 1991. Yeah, very classic death metal album. I've been really getting into this band as of lately. Uh, yeah, I, this is their first album that I've actually purchased from this band, and yeah, I'm very... <laughs> very pleased with it. I really enjoy this band a lot. Uh, yeah, I'm surprised that I'm only getting into them now, but uh, yeah, kind of put them off for the longest time, but yeah, very impressive band, and this album is just absolutely killer, okay? All right, so that's Suffocation with Effigy of the Forgotten. 
Necrot with uh, Mortal. This came out in 2020. Yeah, just a solid album. I started getting into this band a little while ago and uh, yeah, very pleased with this. Yeah, it's just some solid death metal. Yeah, very good stuff. Okay, so that's uh, Necrot with uh, Mortal. Okay, and the last album here is uh, Incantation with the uh, Sect of Vile Divinities. This was released in 2020. Yeah, this is just excellent. Uh, I've been really getting into Incantation over the last little while and uh, yeah, really good stuff. This is actually the first album that I bought from Incantation. I've been familiar with their music for a long time, but uh, finally decided to purchase one of their albums and yeah, just an amazing band and this album is just incredible. Yeah, really good stuff. Okay, so that's Incantation with the Sect of Vile Divinities. Okay, so those are the albums that I've uh, purchased as of uh, recently. Okay, so of course you saw a lot of uh, like death metal albums in there. That's because uh, as of lately I've been getting a little bit more into death metal. So I've been buying some more death metal albums and uh, listening to a fair bit more of uh, death metal as of recently so yeah all right so if you're not familiar with some of these bands that i mentioned uh, yeah definitely check them out so many great albums here okay all right so i want to say thank you very much for watching and i want to say thanks to all the people who watch my videos and subscribe to my channel i really truly appreciate it okay take care my friends cheers